Hello and welcome to another modeling video. This is Alan from the McConnor Man at YouTube with a, another model video. There are a lot of trusted brands in the hobby community such as Tamir, Citadel and CSI Ceros, though from time to time, especially looking for a cheap alternative or maintenance free version of an airbrush, fad products uh, come out and they normally disappear just as quickly. Yet when people have the opportunity to buy old stock online or at a hobby shop, uh, quite often they are quite uh, disappointed, especially with the Tamir plastic rig and the Citadel flame gun, which I kind of like that one. We'll be looking at this uh, very recent viral news as well as uh, memes of uh, why people are taping random tools or Gundam markers at the end of their airbrush. During the 1st of October, at the All Japan Hobby Show, an announcement was made by CSI Seros, or formerly known as uh, Gunzi, looking at the Gundam Marker airbrush system. Now, this is a claim online or through rumors to be a cheaper way of airbrushing without investing in a full setup, not learning the skills required for airbrushing, as well as being a completely maintenance free rig by using the tips of these paint markers. We shall be exploring each of these points before its release in early 2018. Uh, first of all, being retailed at uh, 3,400 yen. It's a bit hard to believe that it is uh, cheap. Now, in Japan, uh, most uh, airbrushes available in the market is uh, name brands, uh, mostly Iwata and whatnot, which is more affordable there, though a far cry from prices such as King Max and Hisin. Now the only output that you can get that will uh, stick to unprimed plastic is the Gundam marker tips. They are lacquer based uh, believably, even though it is approximately around $20 for a pack of six, opposed to uh, five jars of Mr. Color for the same price. You are getting about uh, five to 10 times the quantity of uh, liquid opposed to the actual markers where they're designed for touching up. I do have a concern that the tips do dry out quite frequently, will need to be uh, removed, uh, reloaded, and then may uh, splash far more paint onto the surface. Uh, control and atomization is gonna be um, quite an issue with uh, an added expenditure of uh, using aerosol cans, which kind of went out of uh, vogue once uh, cheaper air compressors been coming out of uh, China, especially those small plastic ones that run at approximately 12 volts and retails around a third to a fifth of uh, the competition. Air source will also be quite important when we do our little experimental test. With the rest of these uh, releases through my uh, research and these uh, pictures from the All Japan Hobby Show, we are given some of these examples of uh, kits in the background. Not too sure if it's an example of uh, this paint gun or uh, the release and announcement of uh, more different colours and type of uh, paint markers. Uh, there was a bit of a mention of that. Now, I already mentioned on one of my Facebook walls and one of the biggest selling points for this uh, product is this uh, picture that went uh, viral absolutely everywhere where we've got the arm on this air blower. This air blower is very familiar to me as I bought a similar product many, many years ago off uh, eBay for approximately three to 10 US dollars off uh, memory. The only difference is this one has the plastic arm to hold the Gundam marker right uh, over the tip where the blower is aiming right at the base of the plastic and pushing the paint all over the place. Looking at uh, this picture, we can see the gradient line is very speckly, very, very thick. And looking very close at the screen, the actual surface paint appears to have been um, orange peeled. So it is putting very large chunks of uh, paint all over the place, not giving it an even surface. 
uh, convenient that I was doing a lot of cleaning as uh, this broke news. I found my little uh, air blower. Uh, the output is uh, quite large and it expels a lot more air than your uh, airbrush, which struggles through an air compressor and uh, empties the tank quite uh, quickly. And I've aligned it up with the Gundam marker as close to the picture as humanly possible. Now, when I uh, attached this to the compressor, uh, all the air was expelled immediately and it started to um, push uh, paint to the piston movement of uh, the compressor. Uh, this tells me that if it is the exact same air blower as it looks like, it's going to dispel those uh, cans, which will be continuous um, air but uh, not for long. A bit of a disclaimer, this is not the exact product, just uh, something that's very similar that I uh, have. Holding the marker right in front of the blower, the spray pattern is absolutely ma massive, about uh, five to seven times uh, larger than what you will get out of a 0.3 mil uh, airbrush. The overspray is going to be uh, quite uh, massive, so small parts are out of the question. Yes, uh, larger surfaces will also be an issue that the first two attempts in this uh, video evidence dried out the tip of this uh, older marker. Once I shook it up and uh, depressed the tip for a bit to build up paint and sprayed it on, there was uh, far too much paint and pulled and soaked through the paper. I was unable to gauge what was the right amount of uh, paint to load at the tip for spraying with this product with my experience. I do not believe that this product is an economically sound investment. It definitely looks far more expensive at around 3,400 yen. It's going to be reaching around the uh, 50 to 80 dollars retail in the West, uh, US. With uh, the price of Gundam markers on top of that, a foreign airbrush and the use of uh, lacquer paints from wherever compatible source is a far more affordable and cheaper method of uh, painting your models, especially larger surfaces or multiple pieces for more complex or bigger kits outside of an SD or a high grade Gundam kit. Uh, looking at these inconsistent uh, spray patterns, which it will be a lot smoother from the output of uh, the aerosol can. It's still going to be inconsistent in pulling or drying before it uh, hits the surface. But in the way of uh, putting a tip in front of a blowing force as your atomization, it is true that there is no maintenance, there's no disassembly, cleaning, scrubbing, it's uh, very, very quick. Uh, there will take um, time to adjust how much paint you load the tip of your uh, Gundam marker, how much you shake it, how far you hold it, and what regulator or amount of air pressure um, output is ideal to flow over a marker tip uh, to get the smallest spray pattern possible to uh, paint your kit with uh, minimal pooling or minimal... Uh, orange peel, but the factor of uh, paint drying before it lands or far too much paint uh, flooding the piece is going to be a massive factor and super hard to control if you're going for a finer finish opposed to just colouring it in. Now this is probably going to be a loaded uh, debate among uh, people going for the quickest and um, perceivably cheapest results immediately opposed to people doing a uh, more steady job. Uh, there will be people taping a marker onto an airbrush where it's a lot steady and straighter lines than what I'm producing and saying, here's a result, you can definitely get straight lines, you get a, a colour in motion, it's uh, definitely going to work. I'm not here to say buy it or don't buy it, use it or don't use it. Uh, the hobby is there for people to enjoy in any way and use whatever tools to achieve whatever finish is desirable. Just to put out this uh, technical information and analysis of if it's uh, truly beneficial and also to point out that uh, some of my budget airbrush and compressor reviews, there are cheaper alternatives and 40 mil of paint is just not that expensive whatsoever. In conclusion, 
I'm not a fan of it. I do not like the um, output and the finished results. I find it to be uh, quite wasteful. I found the experiments to be uh, very amusing, uh, the memes to be mildly funny, and it's just an interesting trend that our uh, hobby has come across, as well as a viral uh, concept that I can take advantage of uh, with this uh, channel and uh, monetization and whatnot. Thank you very much for watching. As always, until next time, stay tuned for further content as well as more reviews, experiments, finished kits and uh, whatnot. I can assure you down the road I will not be buying the finished product and uh, doing a formalized test. Uh, this is as far as I'll go on this uh, topic. Uh, thank you very much and catch you guys next time.